I've just come back because I wanted to try this microphone as well because it's got the monitors. Um, this is a very talented singer-songwriter, Rosie Eve, who's about to play some of her uh, amazing songs. I think if you do what you did last time, you're going to explain what they're all about as well. Do you have to do a bit of that? Yeah. And she's accompanied by, I have to say this because he's a good friend of mine, the amazing Steve Matthews. <laughs> It's nice to see so many lovely faces. It's quite an awesome hall, really, isn't it, here? I've been told many great musicians have played on this stage, so hopefully we do them proud. We're going to start off with a song called Make Believe. It's about all the kind of bizarre worlds you get yourself into when you're really engrossed in the telly or a really amazing book. made a new album, I say recently, it was last year, and um, Steve kindly came along and played on it with me. Um, 
and this was, well, I kind of figured I needed to write a new song, especially for the album. The album's called No Fairy Tales, so it was kind of putting together all these songs that I've written in the past about various sort of fairy tale creatures or fairy tale places. And um, this next one is the one that I wrote especially for the album. It's kind of a Rapunzel, a modern take on Rapunzel, where the girl's stuck in her tower and she's trying to find ways of escaping. But then when she really does escape, she kind of ends up just building a whole new tower, a whole new set of problems. And uh, yeah, so I mean, hopefully the idea is that one day she'll find a nice place that's, that's not stuck. <laughs> But at the moment, I think she's still stuck in the tower. This is Rapunzel, the queen of the tower. inspired by books and this next one was inspired kind of by Lorna Doon. It's one of these books where you, um, has anybody read Lorna Doon? Yes. Yeah a few, it is a, it's a beautiful book in a way but I got to the second to last page and thought oh no everything's completely going wrong I, d I don't want to read anymore and I nearly threw the book away and I thought no you've got to, you've got to see what the writer intended. And then everything kind of changes around, you know, I don't want to spoil it for you if you haven't read it yet. But suddenly there's a big, you know, everything sort of works its way out in this one page. So I think it's a kind of, it's a good way of looking at life. That You might think you're at the end, but actually you're just at the beginning of something brilliant. So this is the last page. <laughs> Well, he 
Is that it? <laughs> we'll do one more. Okay, we're going to finish off with one called The Fire. Is that right? Or is, is, are, we, are we done? I don't know. What I didn't, sorry. I will do a quick one. This is called The Fire. It's about love getting a little bit awry, but holding on anyway. And I want to say a big thanks to you all for coming up. Also, a big thanks to Peter from the Shoulder of Mutton for having us over to play. I'm, I'm from Devon, and Steve's come down from, um, from North Wales, but it's always lovely to come to Wantage. So here's the fire.